Is Harry and Meghan. They have just wrapped up their visit to New York. The pair flying back to California on a private jet after appearing at the Global Citizen Live event over the weekend where they spoke about the importance of equal access to COVID vaccines. Yeah, for more on this, we're joined by Nine Honey's royal reporter, Natalie Oliveri. Good morning, Nat. Lovely to see you on this Monday morning. The Sussexes copping a bit of criticism for this trip. What are people saying? Good morning, Sylvia and Dickie. Yes, Harry and Meghan just can't do anything right, it seems. Uh, they were in New York for a three-day visit. It was their first public uh, appearance, their first joint visit, really, since stepping back as senior working royals in March 2020. Now, to all appearances, this visit really did resemble a royal tour. There's really no denying that. And because of that, it has uh, got many people talking online, some armchair critics, some royal commentators, to some even, even labelling this tour as uh, an embarrassment because of those uh, responsibilities Harry and Meghan appeared to ditch when giving up their place as a senior working royals and now it looks like they are going back to working royal duties mm -hmm. because really of who they met and where they visited during this uh, visit to New York. That really has people talking. Now they started their visit to the One World uh, Trade Centre and the 9-11 Memorial. There they met with the New York mayor. They then went to the United Nations and um, after that they visited a school in Harlem and that's what we're looking at now. Megan reading our chapters from her book, The Bench. Harry sitting front row with the children there. But look, the culmination of their visit to New York City was attending the Global Citizen Live concert in Central Park. And as you mentioned, they uh, called for equal access to the coronavirus vaccine. Now, if you look at Megan's uh, wardrobe throughout these three days in New York, that's many right. are mm. saying that um, it was very businesslike and they were really signalling that this was in indeed a working visit uh, but look she did show off a lighter side when she did take to the stage in Central Park wearing uh, that mini dress by Valentino which uh, is a bit of a departure from her normal uh, working royal to a wardrobe so there you go but it was really nice to see Harry and Meghan back out again after being um, it was just three months ago that Meghan gave birth to baby Lilibet. Mm. Yeah there are, there are rumours Nat that this was all part of the Sussexes lucrative Netflix and Spotify deals. Yeah. What has sparked this theory? What's behind it? Yeah, well, look, it is a good theory. Now, what has okay. sparked it was a, a little bit of a mic cord that was hanging out from Harry's trousers when they did go to that school in Harlem, Prince Harry could be seen with a bit of a, a microphone cord hanging out of his pants. Now, many were saying that Harry and Meghan were actually in New York to oh, uh, document oh, yeah. their, their journeys because of their Netflix and Spotify deals, of course, worth multi -million, uh, millions of dollars. They haven't really produced that much yet. It's really been a, a series of announcements, but people are suggesting that during their time in New York, they were creating creating content for Netflix and Spotify and, of course, for their own Archwell productions. It does make sense. Now, another theory, along with that microphone cord, is all those large, heavy coats Megan was wearing. Because, mm. look, the weather was actually quite warm in New York while they were there and people were saying, why is the Duchess of Sussex wearing such large coats? Now, some were suggesting that she was actually hiding a microphone pack behind there. So, who mm. knows? We just have to wait and see here, I think. <laughs> They're sort of damned <laughs> if they do and damned if they do don't mm, to some degree. Lightning they? rods, they, they really are. Hey, they Absolutely. Could, they could be off to London too. Prince William uh, might soon meet his niece Lilibet. What, what are the plans? Wouldn't that be nice? Well, yeah. the Diana Awards are being held in December. This is something that happens every year and these awards were created uh, after Princess Diana's death. Now, uh, it's rumoured that Harry and uh, Meghan could be going back to the UK with Harry uh, to make a joint appearance alongside his brother at the Legacy Award. Now, these awards are actually taking place at Althorpe, which is Princess Diana's childhood home. It's now uh, owned by her brother, Earl Spencer. The organisers haven't actually confirmed whether Harry and William will be there together. If they do, it would be the first time they have been together since the unveiling of that uh, statue of their mother in July. It would also be Meghan's first uh, return to the UK since March last year. It would be the first time Queen Elizabeth would be able to meet her great-granddaughter mm. Lilibet yeah. and also a nice uh, opportunity for the royals to see Archie because it has been over a year since he has been there. Mm. It could also culminate with uh, the Sussexes spending Christmas 
Christmas with the rest of the royal family and also baby Lilibet's christening because as far as we know, she has yet to be christened. Mm. Uh, finally, we need an update, um, Nat, on Prince Andrew because he has finally accepted the court papers regarding this sexual assault case. So what happens now? Yeah, that's right. Uh, his uh, lawyers have received the court papers, which is a big step forward in allowing this civil case to proceed. Now, uh, Prince Andrew has until October 29 to formally respond to this. Now, um, lawyers for Virginia Dufresne, that is Prince Andrew's accusers, say the Duke of York was actually served with these documents on September 21. And yes, he now has until October 29 uh, to provide an official response. He's not facing any sort of extradition hearing at the moment because this is a civil case, not a criminal case. Uh, he, of course, has vehemently denied all accusations made by Virginia Dufresne. She alleges that uh, she was forced to have sex with the Duke of York when she was just 17. Uh, and apparently she's seeking uh, damages worth multi, uh, worth to be in the millions of dollars. But look, we haven't actually heard anything further from Prince Andrew's lawyers, so we're just waiting now until mm -hmm. October 29 to see how he will proceed. All right, that is a story that is not going anywhere. Nat, thank you very much. You're across it all.